on this particular problem, if you read the problem, then you can kind of uh, maybe talk through some examples. So for example, Ruben makes $9 for each hour of work. Write an equation to represent his total pay P after working H hours. So if we're to just like write some scenarios here, let's say he worked for one hour um, he's going to do $9 <clears throat> and that's going to be his total pay. If he worked two hours, he's going to get $18. That's his total pay. If he worked three hours, he's going to get $27, his total pay. So the way we found the $9 is we did nine times one. The way we found 18, we did nine times two. And the way we found 27, we did nine times three. Notice that these numbers match up. So however many hours he works, we times that by nine to get his total pay. So this is the total pay. We do nine and we um, have his hours. Wait, didn't say total pay was T. They said it was P. So that's going to be our equation that we want to write. So P equals nine h and you don't have to put a times in there you could if you wanted to so i think writing kind of examples like this would really help you out we could do another one and see if this you know can kind of help you out here oh this is the exact same problem so we'll just p equals nine h oops i don't know what i'm typing here there we go equals nine h nine hours p. Come on, give us a different problem. Okay, there we go. So Melissa bought n packs of pencils. Each pack has 15 pencils. Write an equation to represent the total number of pencils that Melissa bought. So if Melissa bought one pack, she's gonna have 15 pencils. If she buys two packs, she's gonna have 30 pencils. If she buys three packs, she's gonna have 45 pencils. So this is the total number of pencils and we got 15 by doing 15 times one. This was 15 times two, and this was 15 times three. Now these numbers, one, two, and three, is the number of packages that she bought, which is N. So we're gonna do 15 N. So P equals 15 times N. That's gonna be how many pencils she has. Okay, hopefully that helped out. That's the end of the lesson.